Hi, so we'd like to uh, make a continuation on our previous video which is septate uterus. So septate uterus is also considered a very common cause for women who have uh, experienced repeated miscarriage. So I'd like to describe in this video what exactly causes this uh, uh, abnormality in your uterus. So a septate uterus is considered a congenital abnormality uh, of the uterus. Now this is usually uh, occurred during your uh, birth so you're naturally born with this but where exactly does it happen during this process is uh, actually already known so I'd like to briefly shed some light on it so when you are still in your mother's uh, womb when you were a pregnancy still when you're still a fetus uh, when the kidneys have already been developed in the fetus uh, there's a specific duct from the paromesonephric system uh, that will uh, uh, extend out and also fuse forming the uterine cavity during the uh, development of the pregnancy when you were still a fetus this already is a, an ongoing process now the fusion needs to occur and then it needs to core out to form a healthy uterus shape now this happens for most people 80 to 90 percent of people uh, will have no problem here but there are some abnormalities that can happen so the two steps that need to happen is a fusion process and also a coring process so if the fusion process uh, has some problems uh, we will see some 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 form of variation of uh, abnormalities firstly if the fusion does is only done halfway then we will see a type of uterus known as a biconoid uterus where it's very similar to a uh, complete septate uterus uh, but it's quite different because there's two uterine cavities but one cervix but if the fusion uh, does not occur completely which means uh, it's much more severe form of a biconia uterus we will call this a didelphis a didelphis means there is two uterine cavities and two cervix so there's a slight variation both are considered a congenital abnormality of the uterus now the coring out process if the if it doesn't uh, core out properly then it will lead to what we know as the most common cause one of the most common cause of the recurrent miscarriage which is septate uterus so this coring out it's supposed to core out to empty into a uterine cavity but it didn't it stopped halfway or maybe it didn't even completely stop so this will cause a variation in the severity of a septate uterus so we've already discussed that it's mainly contained of connective tissue which will have very poor blood flow and uh, it is uh, problematic during a pregnancy. So it is important to get diagnosed before you go for any pregnancy. Check with your gynae, check with your doctor if you have any problems with your reproductive system because a septate uterus is quite common in its uh, incidence rate. And it is also very preventable. We don't want you to experience a miscarriage or a ectopic pregnancy first and then go for treatment uh, just go for a full systemic diagnosis if you do have a septate uterus you can get it treated uh, in uh, hospitals today where we just use a standard 3d hysteroscope uh, procedure to remove the septate and you can have a healthy pregnancy now if you'd like to find out more information about how we treat septate uterus how we diagnose it what exactly causes it uh, please visit our website for more articles more information uh, if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below